What's up guys, it's Timmy from RealPolice.com and today we're going to talk about the 4.3 software that's going to be released March 11, 2011. I'll have a full walkthrough of 4.3 when it's released. Now the the iPhones and iPads and Apple Touch is going to be compatible with this uh, 4.3 software is the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone GSM model, uh, the Apple Touch 3rd and 4th generation, the first generation iPad and the second generation iPad that was actually released today that they, they uh, released at uh, the keynote today March 2nd. Now I have an, another video going over the whole entire new iPad and uh, some new features that it brings to uh, the iPad. So we're going to go ahead and I'm on actual Apple's website right now. I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to talk about some of the new uh, features. Uh, one is AirPlay. Now, AirPlay will allow you to take a recorded video from your iPhone or iPad and stream it to your Apple TV or your computer through AirPlay and do the same exact thing with movies from your computer to your iPad or your iPhone. Going on, uh, Safari performances. Now, this will, uh, new Safari update will allow, you to, will allow you to run a new JavaScript. Now, I have no clue what this is called. It, it's, it says it's just going to run twice as faster as a uh, 4.2 so it could be twice as faster speed loading and uh, switching through web pages and such more now the iTunes uh, home sh sharing that we know that is released now is going to be a, a bigger update now this will allow you to take media from your home sharing straight to your iPhone or iPad or your Apple TV uh, right now it only allows you to take it from one computer to another and from that computer back over, that's pretty much it. But now it's going to allow you to stream it straight to your iPhone or your iPad or your Apple TV, which is going to be really cool. Uh, the next thing is the switch blade on uh, the, uh, the the switch the side switch uh, on the uh, on the Apple iPad. Uh, this is this new feature will allow you to. Uh, configure what you want it to do. So it can be an annotation or it can be what was a uh, volume on and off of rotate of uh, volume switch is what it's called. So you can have it to win one of those two in the settings is actually pretty cool what a lot of people wanted. Uh, going down uh, the next one is personal hotspot. And this is going to be really cool. This is going to be released to the iPhone 4. Uh, this has actually been released on the Verizon iPhone uh, in betas of updates on 4.3. And we've seen some clips and now it's true. We're going to get uh, hotspots uh, for the iPhone 4 on Verizon's network and on AT&T's. I don't know what the uh, plans are going to be. Um, as soon as I find out some plans, I'm going to give you a video a tutorial on how to use it and stuff more like that and uh, some of the uh, cooler things you can do with it. And the next thing on 4.3 is going to be uh, FaceTime. Now FaceTime will allow you to basically video chat from one iPhone 4 to an iPad. Now the iPad is going to have the front and rear facing camera like we predicted, it did come true. So it's going to be an updated FaceTime, it's going to be in HD and it's going to be really nice and clips and clear. And another update is going to be really cool, it's kind of a, a daily booth. Uh, you had that on the um, on the Mac, and allow you to take pictures and uh, do c different kind of things with the funky faces and uh, other things. It's going to be really cool. I'll have a video on that and uh, showing you all the new features in 4.3. Now, if I left anything, I do apologize. I just read what was off Apple's website. I hope you guys enjoy. Go ahead and check out yourapplepolice.com, twitter.com forward slash timiamont, and follow your place on Twitter twitter.com forward slash your place and I'll see you guys in the next video.